Hello beautiful souls and welcome to my channel Rosology. I am so honored to have you visiting my channel for this monthly energetic forecast of all the places you could be. You're here with me today and I couldn't be more thankful to you for that. So this reading is for all of my Geminis out there. So that is sun, moon, rising, even Venus. I'm going to be channeling messages about blessings you can expect, challenging energy you may face, a message from your amazing guides, as well as a mantra for this beautiful September. So we are officially in Virgo season, and I don't know about you guys, but I'd love to know from you all in the comments if it's been a very active month so far in terms of spirit contact. I've been receiving downloads and downloads of information, and if you guys have been receiving any sort of uh, channel messages or messages through your dreams or just kind of seeing and experiencing things, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments section because I'd love to read about it. But I know that it's been a very active month for me so far. We're not even through like, we're not even halfway through September yet, and it's already been a little crazy for me so I'm definitely interested to hear about you guys' experiences but the message that I got just this morning was about being very careful as to how we choose to express our divinity so very briefly it was about how everything in existence is a reflection representation or a personification of the all the divine spirit God the most high whatever you may call it everything is an embodiment of spirit and that is why it is so important for us to forgive each other and ourselves the divine is present and existing within each of us we are the ones that that choose how and in what way to express the divinity that lives within us. We can either honor our own sacredness and the divinity and everything and everyone else, or we can disrespect that. And it's our right to choose, but we will not be able to escape karma and we will not be able to escape ourselves. Karma honors divinity because karma itself is divine. The less we honor our sanctity, the harder the universe goes in trying to show us the error of our ways. Everything in existence exists to remind us of our own divinity because every single creation is a personification of of the divine in a different form so everything that is around us is around us to remind us of the love that the creator has for us because spirit created everything through unconditional love to honor the sacred divinity that lives within us it is our responsibility to lead and act with love this ensures that we are doing our part whether we receive that love and support back is completely irrelevant it is our job to be accountable for how we express our own divinity and whatever does not reciprocate that back to us will have to deal with its own reflection actions and choices and that goes for us all okay so honor spirit by leading with love and everything else will just simply fall into place and I thought it was the most beautiful message and I really wanted to share it with you all because sometimes we need a reminder of just how precious and extraordinary we are life can get tough and it can kick our ass from time to time but we are not products of this life we're products of divinity we literally are made up of stardust you guys so that should say something right there right so um moving on to the reading before we get started let me just say this is a general reading for all of my Gemini's out there so in order for this general message to speak to your own individual spirit you must be intuitively connected to this reading to help you guys get your own psychic abilities activated i'm going to be offering a 30 second meditation if you'd like to participate take a deep breath in for about five seconds hold that breath for three seconds then exhale out of your mouth for six to seven seconds after breathing deeply a few times you should be calm and relaxed and when you are ready we'll go on ahead and start that meditation right now Hopefully that meditation helped you to spiritually connect to me and the energy of this reading. I want to thank your guides, my guides, our higher self and spirit itself for coming through to deliver this beautiful message today. Don't forget to check out your moon rising and Venus sign videos if you haven't already. Now let's go on ahead and get to the reason that you clicked on this video, which is to see your September energetic forecast. All right. Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. So we're going to be starting off with this card all the way over here to the left. And this card is going to be showing me the blessings that you may encounter for this month of September. So let's go ahead and take a look. And we have the uh, the nine of wands in reverse. Okay, so I see my Gemini's opening up this month. I see you guys really embracing your truth and wanting or needing to share that with those around you. Whether these are close relationships or not, I see you feeling a need to express your truth fully and unapologetically. I see the main blessing here is you not wanting to be separated from others and parts of yourself in September. So because of this, you're not just going to be opening up the invitation for others to get to know you more or better 
disturbed, but you're going to be able to connect more with yourself even. You are realizing a lot of restrictions and regulations that you've placed on yourself or your relationships or your life. There's some sort of strictness I'm seeing soften up or loosen up this month where you are not so attached to one specific thing or you're not so protective over this one specific thing or over this something, whatever it may be. There is something that you felt very guarded or maybe even a little reserved about and I'm seeing that fall away completely. And because of that, you're not going to feel alone or isolated or sad and separated from everyone else. I think you're going to realize I can tear this wall down the same way I threw this wall up. And I see you making that decision in September to be more open with others and yourself. I also see you being more forgiving with yourself, or maybe this is a job, project, idea, state of mind, whatever it is, you're not being so attached to it this September. I see you feeling safe and secure enough to say, I don't need this wall anymore or this protection. I feel safe. I feel protected. I feel strong enough. And just overall, I feel good enough. I just feel enough. And that's really going to provide you with the confidence or ability to really open up in September without these sort of uh, reservations, okay? So let's go ahead and check out this middle card here. This is going to be showing me the challenging energy that you may face for the month. And we have the full. So I'm saying the main challenge for you this month is maybe being a little too open, not having enough boundaries anymore. Since you've decided to tear your walls down, you may feel a little exposed or vulnerable or overwhelmed at all that you can do now, or you may feel like you're lacking direction. But I'm seeing this challenge as a good thing because what this challenge is able to do here is catapult or push you out of this comfortable space you may have tried to settle in, and this will open up a plethora of opportunities for you. Yeah, this lack of boundaries, walls, and restrictions may be uncomfortable, but it's so beneficial for you. Boundaries and walls, they're almost like buffers in life where they keep us on the straight and narrow. These restrictions keep us in line and on one path or settled in one direction. Problem with these boundaries is we restrict ourselves to just one path. You opening yourself up this month will expand everything, including your possibilities, opportunities, and potential. Capitalize off of this month in this moment, Gemini. This challenge is actually another blessing if you choose to use it as such. And you're going to be in a space where you can be open to this because you're having a bit of an ego death in September where you lose these sort of mental limitations you may have had. You will be free to choose what you want to do with this formless reality. What reality will you shape into fruition? It's all up to you. So let's go ahead and check out this card over here. This is gonna be showing me the overall energy for your month of September. And we have temperance. Look at that. Okay, so the overall energy I'm seeing for you, Gemini, is creation. I'm seeing you getting crafty and creative because you have all of this new space and opportunity to work with. Because you have all of these new options, you will be feeling the breath of inspiration flow into your world where you feel unstoppable. You're going to feel as though you can do anything, be anything. It's literally just going to come down to what do you want or what do you choose or who do you want or who do you choose? You're going to realize your own ability to choose and you will be so appreciative of this opportunity. You will see this ability as an opportunity to change or form your own future and reality. This all got set off by you realizing that you have to step outside of what makes you feel safe and secure. So once you stepped out of that, you realized there was nothing to fear and you adapted to these new surroundings. And this is what I'm seeing for your September. You adapting to all of these new choices you have and this new ground you're walking on, you are going to realize what it is that you want in this formless space because you are going to take complete control over what you make. So if you remain open to this month and the opportunities and the possibilities of this month, it's really going to take you on a ride where you really get to see wow, I am in control of a lot here. I really get to decide what it is that I want to do next. And it's going to be something very exciting for you, Gemini, okay? So let's go on ahead and take a look at this card over here to see what message your spirit guides have to say to you for the month of September. And we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so I'm hearing from your spirit guides to try something new or different. And this is a little weird because for some of you, your guides are literally saying to try something new or different. But for others, this different something may be commitment. <laughs> commitment to something for some of you trying different things isn't a problem because you are a mutable air sign you know that's always adapting and experimenting this with Gemini is and now that we're in Virgo season who is ruled by Mercury just like you this month is having a pretty profound impact on you as well for some of you your guides want you to branch out for others your guides want you to pick something and stick with it for some of you commitment may be something you never really stuck to or tried out for very long but I'm seeing that your guides say here that they want you to do what 
what you've never done and then stick with it because I'm able for you to form something in this formless space that you may be in right now in the month of September you have to invest into it in order to invest your time and energy and heart into something you must have some level of commitment to it or devotion right so establish a relationship with something you want or someone you want even if you don't know if this thing or person is going to be in game try it out anyways the reason that you are in this formless place is so you can form something out of nothing like temperance and the full card here but once you begin to create this thing you must see it through to its completion in order for it to be successful so i'm saying your guides say for some of you the issue in terms of success or accomplishing is your lack of commitment there's no way that you can be successful if you don't see something through to its completion or to its fruition so they want you to take time to explore in september if you haven't already so you can kind of pinpoint this thing that you wouldn't mind seeing through until the end and kind of um implanting that thing into your own psyche or you implanting yourself onto this thing okay so let's go ahead and take a look at you guys' cards oracle cards here to see what else it is that we're seeing for september and the very first one that we have is tea leaves foresight so this card is about being able to sense or detect what is coming by means of the spirit realm the message I'm getting with this card is to rely on your spirit guides and ancestors to instruct you on how to read the signs in your waking life so you can decide what to focus your energy and intention on. Being in a space in a place with no boundaries can feel overwhelming because we have no direction in that place. But this card is saying to take direction from the spirit realm and your guides because they will show you, okay? The next card that we have here is Joy. Look how beautiful this card is. Wow, Gemini. <laughs> that is such a beautiful card but exactly joy is coming for you this month you're going to have so much fun constructing or deconstructing this goal or this project or maybe this person or maybe an aspect of yourself this is going to give you life inspiration purpose and even direction for the month this card is telling me that with the death of the ego or the death of these limitations and boundaries this end will bring you this renewed sense of purpose where you feel inspired that's the main word that i'm hearing or getting from this card is inspiration you will feel so much joy and inspiration and creating again this is amazing the next card that we have here is look at that happy happy do you see that oh my god <laughs> yeah so some of you guys for some of you guys happiness has been long overdue because i'm seeing an abundance of excitement and purpose and joy come back into your life at some point this month something is really going to grab your attention in september and i also believe that you will have no problem committing to this thing because you created it so everything is working off of your schedule your time your direction your ideas your opinions instead of you being the one feeling trapped by other limitations that have been set by maybe other people i see you setting limitations for this thing or maybe this person in your life and this is going to bring you a lot of joy and happiness because you're going to feel more in control and more of a purpose or a meaning or this is going to establish more of a reason for you to do okay the next card that we have here is desert vision quest what did i tell you guys what did i tell you you are forming your own way or creating your own thing in some capacity you have gained control by releasing any restrictions that you feel you have outgrown because of this you are trying to establish or form a new way or a new reality like i said this could also refer to your relationships and personal life as well but it's like a renewal of energy and a vitality in life this is going to make you feel alive and really good Gemini this is absolutely amazing and the very last card that we have here is flexibility look at this you guys what have I been talking about for literally this entire reading <laughs> I've been talking about how you're going to be dropping limitations regulations and rules and boundaries you are becoming more flexible you are expanding and growing right now this card deals with the sacral chakra and the sacral is uh, located right above the root chakra right under the solar plexus chakra and this card is obviously all about flexibility allowing yourself more room to roam and breathe and explore a person needs space and time to create because you are forming something from nothing or maybe you are evolving something from one form to another either way that takes space and time something you must offer yourself to really be able to truly capitalize on this remarkable month for you Gemini there's a lot of progress that can be made specifically for my Gemini's this month because you are in the driver's seat and in order to maintain control you have to maintain a sense of openness something that is flexible doesn't break or snap because it's bent in a different direction no it doesn't have many limitations so it's almost impossible to break it just bends as it will 
just like you being a mutable air sign, you need room to roam and explore and to be free so you can produce greatness and profound change. Boundaries and limitations is not something that works very well for my Geminis because you guys are mutable air signs. It's like you really need space to explore. You need space to grow. You need space to learn. You need space to roam and do what it is that you want and sense what it is that you want and be drawn and to gravitate towards what it is that you want, okay? And a really good mantra for my Geminis that is connected to this card for the month of September is I am an open channel for flexibility, change, and growth. And I think that would be an amazing uh, mantra for you guys for the month of September because there's a lot of growth and change going on. I've been seeing this literally in each one of the signs. It, it's kind of like slightly different from sign to sign, but the main theme here is really new beginnings, change, fresh energy, fresh life vitality. It's amazing, honestly. It's very remarkable. So, so this is all that I'm seeing from my Geminis. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign videos if you haven't already. I want to say a huge thank you to your guides, my guides, our higher self, and spirit itself for coming through to deliver such a beautiful message today. Hopefully you guys come back to visit me sometime soon. But until next time, go conquer the world, stay blessed, and we'll be chopping it up soon again, okay? All right, bye guys.